Hearts of Iron, but the viewers choose why they do part 24. I asked you how we should partition our Russian lands. And you voted that we should puppet Ukraine and the three Caucasus nations, and then put the Russian collaboration government in the rest of Russia. Some fighting occurred in the Caribbean and Atlantic Ocean. The USA tried to land in Bermuda and some other islands, but we managed to fight them off. Sadly, our plan to invade the USA with the help of Mexico came to shambles when Mexico joined the USA's alliance. We didn't have much to do, so we mostly waited and upgraded our army and air force. The motorized rocket artillery divisions you voted for got finally built. Then, the last battle of Europe started. The Germans claimed Alsace-Lorraine as theirs and declared war on us. It all escalated quickly. Norway joined our side and attacked Sweden. Czechoslovakia and Denmark guaranteed the Swedish and declared war on Norway. This meant we were now at war with everyone in Northern Europe except Norway. We have 8 motorized divisions that we can use for encirclements and other maneuvers. But how should we use them against the Germans? We have 5 options. The first. We will push into the Rhineland to capture the German industrial heartland. The Germans will be much more motivated to defend this land than any other. The second, we will push into the Austrian mountains to try and open a new front with the Germans. We might even be able to capture Munich. The third, we will push into Poland to try and encircle the Polish-German invasion of Romania. The fourth, we will push to Moscow and Leningrad to retake the two big cities for a Russian collaboration state. The fifth, we will push in the most eastern lands to try and make the front smaller and more manageable. The supply is not great in the region, so we have to be careful. To vote, go to my channel and then to community posts, there you will be able to vote. Subscribe and hit the bell to not miss the next episode. See you there.